Ken Surfs here, and another video. You know, uh, I got a mail call today, and this is another uh, another razor that I've been kind of excited to try. And the package came today. I just opened it, and I haven't opened it all the way yet. From Supply Company. And they are a husband and wife team, Patrick and Jennifer, and uh, they're in Texas. And I think it was in 2015, let's see. Uh, Supply was founded in 2015 by a husband and wife team in Fort Worth, Texas. We design and develop our products in-house and uh, we've got an obsessive dedication to quality, durability, and usability. And they have an item. I'm a little late to this party. You guys probably have seen them already. But this is a single edge razor and you've inject your razor. And if you've seen some of my videos, I'm no stranger to inject your razors. Uh, I've got some of the vintage ones from Schick, which I've used. And more famously, the injector, another Schick injector the type that was used on James Bond, Live and Let Die. And to be honest, these nicked me. I did not have a lot of luck with the 1950s and the 1960s, early 70s Schick injector razors. So when Supply Company came out with a new version, a new and improved version, I thought I've just got to give this a try. So this is the box right here. Beautiful razor, solid stainless steel, handcrafted with solid stainless steel and built to last a lifetime. Now, let me open this up. Fortunately, I've got a good supply of blades lying around here. Make sure I don't cut myself. And there's a couple of good videos out there that I've seen. Steve the Daily Shaver has done a good review, Donald Younger, Youngner, has done a good review and well you'll see when I when I open this what intrigued me about it here we go okay. opening it right in front of you they sure do package it good and I believe this is the version 2 they came out with a Kickstarter program a few years ago, and I believe that was the version one. And I do believe this is the version two. Just slide in the box open here. I usually edit all the way through this stuff, but oh, there. Look at that. What oh, oh, a heavy, beautiful razor. Now, you know I'm a movie buff, and one of the movies, well, one of the movie stars that we lost very young uh, drove a car that when I saw this razor first demoed, just the slick, sleek looks of this razor reminded me of this. Man, that poor spider. What was uh, the lyrics from uh, the Eagles? Along came a spider, picked up a rider, and took him down the road to eternity. That was the car he died in. And I've been to the memorial. If you've never been to the James Dean Memorial off of, uh, I think it's Highway 41 and 46 uh, near Paso Robles, California. They have a little memorial there for him. And uh, we lost a good actor. But that reminded me of that car. So I thought, man, what a sporty razor. And... It's an injector razor, but it's got a spring assist in it. And it comes with three different heads. You can get three different heads for it. Head number one, which is very mild. Head number two, which is the classic shave. And for an aggressive shave, head number three. And I believe I'm gonna unscrew this uh, little thumb screw and I'm be careful because I understand there's a spring and I do not want it to go down the, down the sink. So let me pull this head off here. Comes with a dummy blade right there. Ah, and you can see there's two notches in there. This is head number two. 
So this is for the classic shave and it just sits right in this cradle and then the spring loaded screw goes right in there. We'll tighten it snug. There we go. Now it's ready for the injector. Comes with a pack. This one came with a pack of 20. So we'll open it up. It's like an iPhone box. Fancy packaging. More literature. Here's the injector. Now, I was using oh, Schick injector blades when I did my shave a while ago. And I understand these might be personas. But there's the injector. And what happens is it's keyed. It's got a slot right here and it's got a keyed slot. See that right there? So it can only go in one way. The blades are right there. So what we do is we push this in. I'm doing it facing me. We're gonna load the blade. We're gonna slide it in. We're gonna pull out this. There we go. So this bad boy is ready to go. <sighs> I've been looking forward to this. A lot of the razors I use are double-edged, almost primarily double-edged. I'll do in a cartridge now and then. But when something killer like this comes up, uh, I, I just cannot wait to try it. And later on, I'll try the uh, mild setting and the aggressive setting ones. But right now, I'm going to use it with a number two setting on there. So let me set all this aside so I don't drop anything again, like in my last shave, which was a little embarrassing. And I'm going to be using some uh, prep pre-shave cream today and some Soap Commander Vision. Oh yeah. Aqua, Amber, and Mint. So we should be all set. Oh, and for the brush, I'm going to use the Wild West Synthetic. Remember that one? We're going to use the Wild West Synthetic. So let's get started. I'm going to soak the brush in the crystal skull when I'm getting ready. Put on some prep. I use this uh, quite often, not as often as the uh, Parasso, but uh, the gents in Europe swear by this. And the other day I did the Aqua Velva shave with the uh, Classic Aqua Velva from uh, the United States, and I'm told that the Aqua Velva from Spain, the Williams, is excellent, more true to the original scent. So I went on uh, eBay. Did, oh no, actually, yeah, I think it was eBay, and I, eBay UK. Anyway, I went online and I bought a set. It's on its way, uh, imported from Spain. I think PAA Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements have it too, but. Uh, I'm looking forward to giving that a try. All right, get some of that water out of that synthetic brush. You know, if I use the same brush every day, I would know exactly what consistency I needed, how much water, but I'm always bouncing around and changing for you guys because I've got a new air freshener too. Because uh, it would be kind of boring if I was using the same products over and over and over and over again. But if you're just a shaver and not really a hobbyist, you're not into collecting, you could uh, have the same razor, the same brush, and get some really good shaves. Because you'd be used to it. I got this just a little bit wet. Feels weird not to have the goatee. tell you right now this is one heavy piece of metal one heavy piece and I'm told that based on the angle of your face it really kind of is self-guiding you don't have to worry so much about the angle itself I hear the feedback and right now I can tell you it's ten times smoother than them old shit injectors 
then again, it's not 50 years old. That is amazing. If I cut myself for the first time using this, you're gonna see it. The only thing I'm nervous about is under the nose. I'm getting cocky. Slow down, Ken. Enjoy the shave. Yeah, you can feel it if you tip it up the blade won't bite. It just kind of falls naturally. So you have very little pressure on that. Now I do have single edge razors too. I have the, uh, the Razor Rock Blackhawk, but those uh, you still have to manually load. It's not like an injector style. Can you hear that? <whistles> Fantastic. Now, a lot of you can't use DE blades and it says it irritates your skin. I'd maybe give this a try. Setting one, maybe? Usually at this point in the shave, I can tell if I've cut myself. I put this shaving cream on and I can tell. Monty can tell too. Oh, there it goes. Should I get the front door? Hold tight. It's the wife and daughter. Fireworks for the 4th of July. They just stocked up. They can't bring their damn key with them, right? They drive in a car. Uh. Oh man. Very impressed. I think I mentioned this is about $79. To be honest, I thought it'd be like a buck and a half easy, 150. And I can absolutely tell that's great quality. I would have that song James Dean playing right now in the background. Got me just a tad there. But uh, then the Eagles would own this. Uh, <laughs> Don Henley and Glenn Fry and everybody would own this. Or his estate. And they'd be putting commercials on. And maybe I can't approve of, but have no say on. So I won't be playing that in the background. But if you never heard James Dean by the Eagles, it's a, it's a good song. And get it in your eyeball, boys. Get it in your ear, get it in your eyeball. Round your ear. I'm going to go for some high-end stuff this time. Where are we? There we are. Eternity 1. Or Eternity Now. Aftershave. 
Only bummer. It's a spray, and I, I, I like the, the shake on, but you just spray it in your hand. Oh, man, nice burn, too. Oh. Man, that feels really good. Supply. What can I say? That was, oh man, it's so balanced. And it's very heavy. God, is it a... Uh, here's the AT and T. It's as heavy as the AT T above the tie. Very heavy. But man. Killer design. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. And uh, check out those other guys. Uh, they've done some good reviews on this product, too. I'm going to put the name or the web page to supply company in the description of this. How about I put it right here, too? If you get a chance, check them out. If you want to try something different, gave me perfect results the first time. That was fresh out of the bag. Man, that was sealed. <laughs> Live shave, you can't go wrong. <laughs> if I goof up, you're going to be the first to know it. All right, everybody. Looking forward to the 4th of July. I'm going to be sharing a shave with you then, I think. And uh, maybe I'll film some of the shenanigans going on. Oh, and they are, they are having the Riverside Shaving Meetup this month, July the 28th. I'm going to double check. I'll put it right here. At the Lake Alice Trading Company in Riverside, California. And it's at 11 a.m. And uh, there's going to have some vendors there. And it's going to be a big turnout. Not like the smaller one that was at West Coast Shaving. This is going to be a little bigger. And uh, it's at a bar, tavern. They have drinks. They got about eight pinball machines, pool tables. Man, they got the works. So uh, <laughs> Ken's going to be busy out there. But uh, I will put a, a flyer. Hey, we'll put the flyer right here. Yeah, put the flyer right there and uh, more information to follow. So, all right, everybody, looking forward to seeing you all again very, very soon.